We return now with your most valuable player presented by 89 Homes, Ryder Ingold. Dude, you just stuffed the stat sheet all over the place. Offense, defense, special teams. You did a little bit of everything tonight. Just describe what it felt like to have that impact no matter what position you were at on the field. Certainly, you had the Midas touch. Everything you touched kind of turned to gold. Uh, it feels really good. I uh, haven't played the best of games. Played against Doutlin. Dropped a couple interceptions. Really wanted to get back from dropping a couple on defense offensively. I had a decent game last week, and I thought I should rebound off of that too. And special teams-wise, we don't always get the ball, so when you get it, it's a special chance to try to score. I thought that was really a game-changing play for you on that punt return. Falcons had a little bit of momentum going. You're able to cash it in for the score. But this last three games of the season against the three top contenders in the WCAL, you take care of them all in order. This is the biggest one, of course. A lot of hype around this game. What was it like over in Creston this week, getting prepared for this one, going up against a 9-0 squad? Yeah, we knew uh, they were going to be a good opponent, but we just had to be able to outwork them. And I feel like that starts in practice, just realizing as a group that we're going to have to work harder than they are. We knew the fans were going to be... It's going to be a big game, and so we got to block out the outside noise and just get the job done. Undisputed champions now in the league. Hasn't happened for you guys in your career yet since 2020 was the last time they got it done. If you can give us a little insight into the huddle, the coach talk, and just everything that kind of just, you know, encompassed these last five minutes for you. Uh, coach said good win. We got to enjoy it, but we're not satisfied. Well, we're looking at a long playoff run, and that starts in practice next week. So we can enjoy tonight, but next Monday it's it's a restart. I think the victory tonight jumps you guys into the number four spot in your Division Five region. That means two home games where you guys play so well. So what type of meaning does that have for this particular Bobcats team? Uh, it's huge meaning. I feel like we play pretty well at home with the crowd on our backs and uh, don't have to drive second round of the playoffs if we make it there. So that should be fun. Two home games is huge. Big congratulations to you and your entire gang out here tonight. Very impressed with what you were able to accomplish, especially in that second half, just dominating the interceptions. They were big time as well. As our MVP tonight, we'd like to give you an opportunity to look in the camera, give as many shout-outs as you'd like. I'd like to shout-out my team, uh, huge family, my coaches for supporting me, and uh, my family for always coming to all my games, especially my mom driving me to practice when I was young. All right, Ryder Ingold, your 89 homes MVP.